Vandy Vapes back at it again with their newest dripper, their newest project, their newest RDA. It's called the Mesh. The Mesh RDA. That's right. Okay, here's the thing with Mesh. I dealt with one other RDA that used Mesh. I actually bought it with my own money. It was the first product that I purchased with my own money in the last four years. Four years! And it was called the Cedo RDA. And that thing was a flop. But this, this is the second Mesh RDA that I dealt with. And it's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Vandy Vape is killing the market, man. Killing the vape game. I think Vandy Vape is producing the best best delivery system devices out in the market right now. They on top, baby. But back to this Mesh RDA. It's versatile. It's so versatile. You can not only run this thing in Mesh mode, but you can run in single coil mode. You can run in dual coil mode, single airflow mode, dual airflow mode. The build quality for this, phenomenal. Comes with a fat-ass Ultim drip tip. I mean, it's fat, fat, fat. It also comes with a 510 drip tip adapter, so you can use your preferred 510 drip tips. Comes with a squawk pen for you squawkers out there that want to squawk away. You can do that with this RDA. You got two different color options, stainless steel or black. But back to the Mesh mode it comes with three different packs of mesh that's right you get canthal mesh you get stainless steel mesh and you get ni80 mesh i personally prefer the stainless steel mesh i've dealt with stainless steel mesh for years not as a heating element but as a wicking element and i just like the stainless steel mesh because i want to run the stainless steel mesh in temperature mode and in temperature mode if you're a temperature vapor out there this stainless steel mesh and this rda is phenomenal it covers so much surface area the flavor you get is really 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 good it's as good as your coils out there your single coils and your dual coils it's a different type of flavor. The vapor production though, forget about it for this. Cloud chasers are going to love it. But the flavor I get off of it's phenomenal too. You know what? I'm going to quit jibber jabber and we're going to go ahead and dive down. I'm going to show you this sucker up close and personal. We'll come back. I'll vape on it. I'll talk about the cons that I found for this and then I'll let you know obviously if I'd have lost this thing today, would I go out tomorrow and buy one? Yeah, buddy. Here's the packaging, the sample packaging for this Mesh RDA by Vandy Vape. And inside the packaging, of course, you're going to receive your Mesh RDA. And check this out, boys and girls. You get three packs of Mesh, man. You get three sheets of Canthal A1, three sheets of Nichrome 80, and three sheets of 316 stainless steel. You also receive this baggie of extra goodies, extra O-rings, a flathead screwdriver, a Delrin 510 drip tip adapter, a hex tool to pull out your squonk pin or non-squonk pin. That's right. This thing comes with a squonk pin, so you can use this thing in squonk mode, Big Pro. It also comes with extra gold-plated flathead screw plates. And last but not least, they include this. Delrin dock tip, that's what they're calling this thing, and this is for when you want to use your 510 drip tip adapter. Now onto this Mesh RDA. She's primarily made of stainless steel. I've seen two different color options. You got stainless steel, as you guys can see, or you could choose black. She's 24 millimeter in width and 32.5 millimeter in length. At the base, she's got a protruding gold plated 510 pin. She's got an extended peak insulator, and that's so you can use this on your hybrid top cap devices. It also has smooth 510 threads, and what does it say down at the base? It says Mesh, sample, designed, and manufactured by Vandy Vape. Let's go ahead and start with the deck section. I know that's what you want to see first, okay? You've got a postless clamp style system going on. On each side, you got a flathead screw, and then in front of that flathead screw, or behind it, whichever way you want to look at it, is a plate, a gold-plated plate, okay? On each side, flathead screws. And then what you do is you unscrew this, unscrew the screw, and the plate starts to slide back and slide back, and then you insert your leads. Easy peasy, what well, is sleazy. Do it on the other side, and slide back, slide back. Now, I want to state this. These aren't spring-loaded but they do stay back. But yeah, this thing is easy to install your builds. It's easy to install your mesh. Here's your positive connection, hence your peak insulator. And then you got this hole down here and that's your squawk hole if you want to run this thing in squawk mode. Two O-rings right here on the deck lip. Let me show you how to install your mesh. So today we're going to be using this stainless steel mesh. I got one sheet out and all I'm going to do is cut, mm, I would say about six millimeters off. And if you have any stray pieces on the side, you want to clip those with scissors. Insert one side into that slot. Make sure she's all the way down at the bottom. Go ahead and tighten that screw clamp. Not going anywhere. Same thing on the other side. Check it out. Mm -mm -mm. Now what we got to do from there is glow it. Got to get glowing from the inside out. And to start, this build's read at 0.17 ohms. Right off the bat, man. No ramp up. And it's glowing from the inside out, evenly, all across the board. That's what I love about this stainless steel mesh. That's what I love about this Canthal mesh. That's what I love about this Nichrome 80 mesh. But look how much surface area this sucker's covering. You're going to need a lot of wick for this. But before I do that, boys and girls, I want to show you what else this deck section can do. Check it out. You can run this bad boy in single coil mode. And look how big that coil is. This is one of Squid Dude's coils. Four millimeter coil. Big monster coil. And this thing can swallow it up. 
But don't stop there. She also does dual coil mode. So you can do single coil, you can do dual coil, or you can do mesh mode. Now here's the barrel, the top cap, and the ultimate drip tip that comes with this. A fat ultimate drip tip. Check this out. This thing is a big old sucker, isn't she? Beautiful. I like ultimate personally. Some of you guys may not, may think it looks like piss. I like it. I like how fat it is. I like how it feels in my mouth. That's what she said. I know. But it's nice. It's a nice drip tip. And you got this big old beefy O-ring in there at the top. It says Vandy Vape engraved. Everything is beautifully machined and it fits snug as a bug. Grab a hold of the top cap to adjust the airflow. Whatever you adjust on this side is going to be the same on this side. You can close it off pretty much all the way if you want. You can open it up all the way, obviously, or you can run this thing in single coil mode. Let me show you. So you got your dual airflow slots, okay, and then perpendicular is your single. You got a single O-ring. Here is the middle section, by the way. Just line up the single air hole slot. It's open on one direction, closed off on the other, and you got adjustable airflow with the single coil as well. Perfect amount of strictness, guys. This O-ring right here is awesome. And here's the inside of that top cap, sort of like a conical thing going on. But check it out, you got these bevels right here. It looks like the Icon RDA, right? The airflow for this smooth, 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 very similar airflow to the Icon. So today, the cotton that we're gonna be using is this Vandy Vape Vape Cotton Loops. It's thick and, 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 and fluffy. Go ahead and crack the bag. See how fluffy it is? Look how thick it is too. So that's what we're looking at right there for the stainless steel mesh loop that I showed you how to build. Go ahead and insert it. And you want it to be tight, guys. You want to put a lot of cotton through here. It's got to cover all this. Go ahead and clip the cotton on each side right there. But what I'll do from there is fluff up the ends. Tuck it in there just like so. The goal is to make it look like a bow tie. So now what we gotta do is we gotta juice her up. Get her nice and wet. I mean, this Mamma Jamma will hold a buttload of juice, guys, with how much cotton is in here. There she goes. Look at it, just absorb that cotton. Next step, we're gonna go ahead and pop the top cap on there, make sure that both slots are hitting each side of that mesh. Oh yes. All right, so check it out. Here's my single coil build. I just wanna show you this before we take her back to FaceTime and vape on that mesh build. But look, this is the way that I wick the single coil. The wick's gotta be super tight. This is the way that I recommend it. And then you wanna cut about five to six to seven millimeters long, those wick tails. That's what you wanna cut it at. And then what I do is I tuck them in. Tuck them into that edge right there. The well is not deep at all. It's a shallow well. But if you tuck it in like this, your airflow is going to be hitting the side of the coil like that, so it's not going to get in the way. It's going to be perfect. Now, before I vape on this Mamma Jamma, I'm going to tell you the juice that I'm vaping on. You probably already know what it is, what I'm going to say, but this stuff is the best juice on the planet. Best juice on the planet, and it's transmission from the merge line. If you like fruity juices, you need to pick this stuff up. Get it over at vapetrick.com. Right now, we're giving 25% off everything. Use code THANKS25. It's so good. It's so good. I just closed off the airflow if you hadn't noticed. But here it is with the airflow. A little bit closed off, about a quarter of the way open on both sides. You get this swooshy, swooshy draw, but as you close it off, you still get that smooth, swooshy, swooshy thing. It's just more restrictive. I'm going to open it up just a little bit. All the way. Okay, I'm going to close it off pretty much all the way. I mean, it's smooth all across the board. Going to go ahead and open her back up. And this is what I love about temperature control. 470 degrees, 100 watts. I could go and go and go and go. And when the flavor starts to get muted, I just re-drip some juice on there. And the flavor that I'm getting off this, top, top, top notch. Now, is it like all these other RDAs that use regular single coils or dual coils? No, because you're using that mesh and it's covering a different type of surface area. You're going to get different flavor. The best that I can describe it is a light, more crisp flavor. Not like ceramic. It's just hard to explain. All I can say is it is freaking good. This RDA nailed it. Do I think mesh is the future for temperature control vapors? I do. I could see myself vaping all the time in temperature control. And before this, I didn't vape in temperature control probably in the last three or four months ever. I'm usually a variable waters vapor, but this in temperature control is awesome. Even in variable waters mode, it's awesome. But I just like it better in temperature control because I could take more hits. The last time I dripped on this thing was like freaking 10, 15 minutes ago and I'm still vaping on it. 
and I'm still getting full on flavor. Now, I will say this. You guys saw in the close-ups, this thing holds a shit ton of juice. I believe they market like one mil bullshit. More like three or four mils. When in mesh mode. So as far as the mesh RDA and mesh mode, is it a success? A major success. But I'm not done. I put mesh mode down and I popped a single coil in there. That single coil you saw in the close-ups, that's right. She's reading at 0.25 ohms. 865 watts on this Tug Life DNA 250 mod. I got the airflow mm, about three quarters of the way open all across the board. You guys know the drill. Different flavor. Different flavor from the mesh. I get more of a rich flavor with this. It's not as light and not as clean, but it's more rich and saturated. Which is better, Rip? The mesh or the regular coil? Well, you guys saw the single coil in the close-ups. That's this one, the one the squid dude made. This thing can chuck, chuck, chuck the flavor. I'm gonna take another hit. I need to take the wattage up, too. Take her up to 80 watts. Yeah, 80 watts. Definitely getting more notes off this coil than I did off the mesh, but the mesh is not far behind it. Flavor is better off this coil than on mesh mode. But the thing is with this coil, I can't take nearly as many hits. And the flavor, in my opinion, isn't like leagues and leagues and leagues better in the mesh. It's a different type of flavor, like I said. Oh yeah, and with this coil, I'm also vaping the transmission. That's how I know I'm getting more notes and nuances. So here's the deal. If I want to just take hit after hit after hit, I'm going to go with the mesh mode and stainless steel. Or I can run this thing in Canthal mesh mode or Nichrome 80 mesh mode in regular wattage. Or if I don't want to do that, you can run it in single coil mode like I have it in here. And if you don't want to run it in single coil mode, you can run it in dual coil mode. This thing is so versatile like i mentioned at the beginning of this video that is a huge 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 pro even if you don't want to use your mesh or you buy this thing and find out the mesh isn't for you you can rock it with your best fuse claftons or your best aliens or your best staggertons i mean you could do anything you want with this rda basically to be honest with you guys i had trouble finding a con for this i remember when i first looked at the pictures for this the deck pictures like what was it like a month ago and i saw how shallow the deck is i was like oh this thing's gonna give me spit back like crazy no i don't get any spit back with this none so this thing having a shallow deck that's that's not a con for me. You just gotta wick it like I showed you in the close-ups for the mesh and for the coil. You do that and you're gonna be chucking tits and you're gonna be chucking flavor. Now on to the big question, the big answer of the day. Hey, Rip, if you lost these Mamma Jammas today, would you go out tomorrow and buy more? Hell yes. Vandy Vape, like I said, they are killing the vape game. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, liked it, found it entertaining and helpful. If you did like this video, well then like it down below. And if you want to see more of me, subscribe for more. This is Rip Chippers, and remember, smoking is dead, vaping is the future, and the future is now.